In this tutorial, we will explore the different kinds of posts that you can make to your students. So when your students come into your classroom, the first area that comes up is the stream. You use the stream area to communicate announcements and other types of um, things with your students that you may just want to tell them. So it could be reminders, it could be other announcements, um, and again this is where in the settings you can decide if you are going to allow your students to post here um, or not. You can have students, you can allow students to actually post original announcements or you can allow them to respond only to announcements that you have created. So in order to create an announcement you simply click type in what you want to type in. You can make any attachments that you need. Um, another important thing to note here is that under the for section, if you click there, you can actually select multiple classes. So you could, if you had an announcement or a reminder that you needed to give to multiple classes, you could just do it one time and select each class here and it would automatically send to those classes. Um, under the classwork section of the classroom is where the bulk of your posting is going to happen. This is the place where you actually create assignments and questions and organize your classroom materials. So by clicking the plus sign create in the top corner, you will see the different options that you have. So you have an assignment option, a quiz assignment, which is actually a new feature to Google Classroom, a question, class material, and reuse your post. So an assignment is something that you would actually assign to students that they would have to respond to. In the next tutorial, we will look very closely at what it means to assign an assignment, the different ways that you can do it, what it requires students to do in response, etc. The quiz assignment is also something that we will look at in the next one. However, just to note, the quiz assignment actually links you up with a Google form that your students would take as the quiz. You would design it and the students would take that form as the quiz and then classroom would gather the data, score the assessment, and gather the data for you. The question feature is where you would um, ask a student ask students a question. So when you click on that, you can type your question. You could include instructions. You can decide how many points it's going to be worth or if it's ungraded. Your due date, just like all your other assignments. Again, you can assign it to multiple classes if you find that to be helpful. Um, you can decide if it's going to be a short answer or a multiple choice, and you can also decide if students can respond to one another or edit their answer. So this would be great for like an exit ticket, for example, where you ask the students a question, they post the answer, you have it all right there for you with eliminating the paper. Um, this is also great for class discussions. So if you have students responding to a question and then allowing them to respond to one another, this is where you would want to do that um, on classroom. The last, uh, second to the last thing under create is material. This is where you would put anything that is relevant to the class as far as like a syllabus. It might be where you put a study guide. You might put links to a website. Um, you might put an outline document or a graphic organizer. Or these are the kinds of things that you would imagine that um, you would use as classroom material uh, paper classroom material. So even like um, different readings or texts or website links, all those things would be under material. And then reuse the post is where you can, as you're posting things in classroom, um, the newer stuff comes up on the top so sometimes things get lost way down at the bottom and you can reuse the post to bring it to the top. You can also reuse it, let's say like each week you you assign a similar assignment um, so you could reuse the post and then just make the adjustments to it so instead of starting from scratch you're starting sort of from a template. Another important thing to note about all of the different types of posts is that you can you can assign a topic. So when you create an assignment or any other type of post it says topic. I don't have any created yet so I'm going to go ahead and create one. I'm going to call this one ELA. So by creating that topic anything that I post and tag to ELA will then be organized on the left side of my classroom under that topic. That's a great way just to keep yourself organized and also to allow your students to easily find material um, within your classroom. 
In the next tutorial, we're going to look very closely at how to create an assignment and at this new quiz assignment feature.